I'm back with another video and as you can see by the title I got a new car period but I'm finna tell y'all how I got a new car and try to give y'all some tips on how y'all can get y'all car it might work it might not work um we'll see once y'all finish the video. I gotta keep playing with the camera angle okay so let, I got um I got stuff written down I'm gonna also give y'all a little car tour my car I got a 2020 Mazda CX-5 I believe so let's get right into it so I'm gonna just go with the first couple questions I've been getting. So, how long did I save? I actually didn't save for a long time. Um, my deposit wasn't that much, so I didn't have to save for a long time. I'm gonna get into how much my down payment and stuff was too, but I didn't save for a long time. I think I got everything, how much money I needed in two weeks. Um, this was my first car choice. I didn't want nothing else. I knew for a fact that I wanted a Mazda when I came to the lot, like, so, I didn't have to go and check and see what car I wanted, it was either a Mazda car or a Mazda truck, and I really wanted an SUV, so, that's what I got, but if it was a car, I would've got that too, if I couldn't get the SUV, so, yeah, this is my first choice of a car, um, uh, people asking, will I decorate my car, I will be decorating my car, y'all, like, as a female, I feel like, my inside of my car I gotta match my aesthetic I don't know if I want to do pink yet because that's my favorite color but I just know pink is everybody go to color and I don't know if I really want to do that so I might not do pink but I am gonna decorate my car okay and then and why did I get this car I got this car because I had I had two previous cars the first one um it was a car accident and then the second one, it just keeps needing maintenance. And I just didn't want to keep having to put money into a car when I could just get a new one. I got a good job. So I was just like, let me just try at least to go get a, a new car off the lot before I keep putting money into the same car. So that was my choice. Okay, so let's talk about how I got the actual car. So two weeks prior to me getting the car or a week and a half prior to me getting the car, I went to the dealership and I went. I let them like give me an estimated amount about how much money I will be spending a month off the credit score that I have or whatever. So they didn't technically run my credit right then and there. They just gave me like a little um, preview type thing. And it was a paper. It told me like if I put this much down, this how much money I got to pay a month. So I'm not going to tell you all my monthly payment because everybody monthly payment would be different depending on their credit score. But I will say that I only put 1500 down. Um, like I said, that took me about a week and a half to get because I went to go figure out how much, um, I can put down and then a week and a half later, I went and got the car. So it all depends on like how you are with saving your money and stuff like that. Like if you can get it right away, then I'll say go for it. If you have to wait a little bit longer, just keep uh consistent with saving your money. Like it's, it's not that hard. I mean, it is hard to save your money, but it's not that bad. Um, so <clears throat> like I said, so I went and let them kind of like kind of check my credit. They didn't run it through, but they had gave me an estimate or whatever. But that was for a 2018 Mazda SUV. So it's like it was different. So I went back with my down payment and was ready to go. First of all, let me tell y'all, if y'all want to go get a car, the day you go get the car, make sure you have nothing else to do because it will take you all day. Like I had to work by four o'clock i went in there at like 10 something and i literally almost was late for work so like uh make sure you got enough time during that day to get your car okay let's get into the like the needs that you need okay so my credit score um i just turned 18 september 22nd so therefore that means my credit is fairly new and with a fairly new credit they do kind of look at that like different um if you don't got credit history it is the way to build your credit without like but you still won't have like a credit history so i got two apps that you can build your credit with 
it's one called self and one called kickoff i'm gonna put them right here um i use both of these app one is 35 dollars a month and the other one is five dollars a month and it's like paying off a bill like it will go on your credit as you paying off a bill but i feel like it works really good it got me to a decent credit score i have a 600 plus credit score so um i think these work really well and now i also have an educator's credit card so like just try to um go through your bank to get a credit card as soon as possible or anything like i say i'm not yeah, so my birthday was in September. I didn't get the car until the month that we are in now. And that's February. I just got the car. So I say wait a little bit until you after 18. I don't know how to get a car like on your 18th birthday off the lot. Cosign. You're going to have to get a cosigner because I really don't know how to, how else you could do that without a cosigner and fresh credit. And somebody did ask me, did I have a cosigner? I did not have a cosigner. I feel like if you can do it without a cosigner, do your best to do it without a cosigner. I don't know how stingy people can be, how evil people can be. Like, you never know. So, you would try to want... I mean, you will want to get everything on your own in your name. But, like... Yeah, you will want to get everything in your name. You don't want a cosigner. I didn't want a cosigner. If you want one, that's cool. Like, if your parents could cosign for you, then that's good or whatever. But I did not want to cosign. And like I said, my down payment was $1,500. Um, it might be different for everybody. But I do want to say the more you put down, the less your car note will be monthly. But it's only by the 100 So, if you put, like... A couple more hundreds down it's only going ten dollars down on your down payment because of the entrance like if you get what i'm saying so your down payment barely is going to the car it's really going to the entrance and then make sure you get the car that you want like oh this car is less but da -da -da -da. no get the car that you want it makes sure it's in your range but don't go for a car that's less just because it's less and don't let people be in your ear like adults with us being 18 they think we dumb sometimes or i don't know what they think but my mama was by my side the whole time like she not gonna let nobody play in my face but don't let nobody get in your ear like if this is the car you want then this is the car you want you don't have to um a you don't have to go by nobody else's rules like, oh, I couldn't afford this type of car note when I was 18, so I don't think you can afford this type of car note. Give, who gives a fuck what you could afford at 18? Bitch, it's not you. So, get the car that you want off top. Like, you were gonna be, you gonna be miserable paying a car note off a car that you did not want. So, don't do that. And if you guys have any more questions, I say put it in the comments below and I'll make a part two or something because this is all off of the knowledge that I have. Um... Like I said, it wasn't that hard of a process. It wasn't that long of a process for me because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And um, I knew I wanted to do it real quick. I needed a car ASAP. I work far, so I got to use my car to get to work and stuff, transportation. So I say do what you got to do to get your car. Also, you can get a car loan. Uh, my, my educator's bank account did accept me for a $10,000 loan. So if you want a car that's like $10,000... Um, and you build your credit, you can try to go to educators if you got an educator's account and try to get that loan from educators because they definitely do auto loans and I feel like that is another good way to get your car because your car will be paid off and you would just have to pay the bank back if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so here's a little car tour. This is my front. Don't mind that. I don't even know what that means and I'm going to figure that out ASAP. Um, this is like my little screen. I don't know why it does that every time I like record on there. That's weird. It's like music. I don't got none of my music playing. It's normally my Bluetooth. And then on the side, if you got a charger, you put in your Apple um, CarPlay. I'm a well, I can't really hook that up, but it's right here. And then I got like some lotion, some garbage bags, perfume in here so far. I still got my mask down because I want to wait until um, I go on Amazon and give me some official masks for the car. Uh, this is the passenger seat. I have heated seats. This is my front and back, um, like to heat up the windows, and then everything else. Just turn the heat on or the air. Turn it off, and then yep, that's everything for the front. They also have a navigation. You know, a little cute little thing, but I really use my air, um, my car play all the time. Really, the back seat of the car. This is my work bag. 
Um, it's nothing really like too much back here, just the seats and stuff. And then I have a big trunk back there. If you can see, um, yeah, so I love the car. It's very spacious, if you ask me. Um, I ain't never had a truck before. My mom does have an SUV, so I be in her sometimes, but yeah. I hope this video helps somebody a little bit. I know it's kind of all over the place, but I'm doing the best I can since I just brought the car and my process wasn't that long or like had that many um mishaps so if i buy another car and then i go through more stuff i'm gonna let y'all know but this is what i went through to get this car i plan on showing y'all me decorating my car too so stay tuned for that um subscribe to my music channel at Lonnie Monet. I am finna drop another music video really soon, so pay attention to that. Follow me on TikTok at the real Lonnie Monet. Uh follow me on Instagram at Lonnie Monet. And period, subscribe to this channel cuz y'all y'all I was really thinking about stopping YouTube. Yes, don't be mad at me. But I realized that this channel is almost at 50 subscribers. And I only say that because my other channel is already at 8,000 subscribers. So it's like kind of hard starting from the bottom, bottom and trying to come back up and get my stuff back together. But I'm going to do it anyways. Like, I'm going to stick to it. I really like YouTube. It's not nothing about the money because I already get paid on my other channel. So I'm not losing out on nothing. So, with that being said, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope this helped you guys. Um, if y'all got any additional questions, put it in the comments. Like, that's all I can say. And I'll just answer them. Either on my Instagram, I will answer them. Or I will make another YouTube video if it is a lot of more com. I mean, a lot of more questions that I didn't think to answer. So, yeah, I hope y'all like the video. Bye. Come with me to come buy my first car of a car lot. Looking muffy, period. She came for the ride. Driving to the bank. Getting the money for my down payment, period. Sitting in the dealership. Oh my god, I had to sit in the dealership for so long, y'all. Like, signing papers, running for them, run my credit. I was in there all day. And then here I go, finally signing for my car. He counting the money now, making sure I get my shit. Period. And here I go with the car. And y'all know it's Big Lonnie P, not the little one, no little shit, you know, everything. Big Lonnie's bitch. 